Iran has urged Canada to prosecute those behind the murder of an Iranian teenager in Ottawa last week. Foreign Ministry spokesman has called on the Canadian government to live up to its commitments. Rahmin Mehman Paraz says upholding the rights of Iranian nationals is one of the Foreign Ministry's main priorities. He said Iran's embassy in Ottawa has officially asked Canadian officials to bring the perpetrators to justice. 16-year-old Yazdan Giasi was shot dead in Ottawa on Monday. Mehman Paraz says Yazdan's murder shows that Iran's previous warnings about declining security conditions in Canada were well-founded. The Iranian community gathered to say goodbye to Yazdan Giazi. The 16-year-old was shot dead on Monday. His body dumped from a car on Booth Street in broad daylight. His family moved from Iran to escape one of the most oppressive governments in the world, seeking freedom and hope in Canada. They never imagined things would turn out like this. Here's CTV's Joe Enschner. Hauntingly beautiful, an Islamic prayer echoed off the walls of the Ottawa Mosque, a lament to the dead. Inside a plain wooden box lies 16-year-old Yazdan Gyazi, his body cleansed before burial in traditional custom. His father, Ali, was so wrought with pain he could barely walk. So, aided by friends, he made his way to the front of the mosque to bear witness to the final farewell to his only son. Yazdan's younger sister and mother joined the women for their support through the ceremony. Giazi was gunned down on Monday morning, his body dumped on Booth Street. Three men have been arrested in connection with the case that sources say was drug-related. The grade 11 student from Notre Dame High School was an aspiring athlete with a black belt in Taekwondo. His parents had moved here from Iran when Giazi was a toddler. Eli Giazi lay on his son's casket throughout much of the prayer service, stroking the wood as though it were his son's forehead. The ceremony was... I've never seen anything like it. It was uh, so emotional. About 200 mourners packed the Scott Street Mosque. Family, friends and neighbours like Brian and Patty McMillan. We're just here to support because they're our neighbours. And Yasmin was a wonderful, wonderful boy. Very, uh, we enjoyed him as our neighbour and uh, as he was growing up and now that's gone. Young, smart for his age, very unique. That's it, he's very unique. In keeping with custom, Giazi was buried on the third day after his death. Another ceremony will be held on the seventh day and the 40th. A very emotional day, and that's likely to spill over tonight at a candlelight vigil that's being held at the scene where Yazdan Giazdi's body was found. Now, that vigil is being organized by friends of uh, Yazdan's. That's expected to get underway at uh, 730 on Booth Street. Graham. CTV's Joe Enchner reporting live tonight.